Hello everyone, this is Mumbo and welcome back to another episode on the Hermit Craft server. It's episode 7 and I have just punched my way out of my little AFK den by hand. I didn't really think that through. I put myself on the inside of there, didn't give myself any tools to get out. But we have been AFK so hopefully, yes, all of the glass has smelted through and coal blocks man, they are absolutely awesome. And I do believe, I mean we have a little bit of... Do we have a little bit of glass left over or a little bit of sand left over that, that needs to be smelted? Yeah, there's only a tiny bit left, so I'll quickly chunk that into the super smelter. But I also want to see how many slime balls we've actually managed to get from this AFK session. Yeah, that's not really that great. I mean, the issue is, is that, so I did get, not kicked from the server, but, you know, I think that either the server closed or something, something basically went wrong and I wasn't on the server when I came back into the studio. So I'm happy to see that all of the glass is smelted. But we can't have been AFK for that long if that's how many slime balls we have. Either that or there's just been l -l -l loads of people online. I thought I'd been pranked. I'd forgotten that I'd actually built this thing. <laughs> oh man, it's still ridiculous. Okay, so the store has been very temporarily restocked. I really struggled with that word there. The store has been temporarily restocked. So we have 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 stacks of slime balls, which I'm sure will all be bought by the end of today's episode. I might actually have to put up the prices at some point. Doc's store is the coolest thing ever. The drowned actually tries to hit you with tridents. He can't actually ever get you, but it's just constantly firing out. That is amazing. Do I really only have three bones left? I refuse to believe that I only have three bones left. Where's all my bone meal? Of course it was up in the treehouse. I really need to unify my two storage systems because I keep losing things. Anyway, first project for today's episode is to get all of the glass in place. Hopefully this shouldn't take too long. See, although we're placing a lot more blocks than we were in the previous episode, because of course in the previous episode we were just building up the struts and we did one side of glass, although we're placing a lot less blocks, they're much easier to place. Because when you're building things like spheres and circles or anything like that, you're constantly checking how many blocks you have to place and you're constantly going back and forth making sure everything's right making mistakes and everything whereas this this is just speeding along doing things nice and quickly yeah that's not gone that's not gone well what on earth oh those those phantoms man despite my death we are now almost done with all of the glass let's just get these final few blocks in place and that is just about going to do it now i have to say i'm a little bit concerned because I still have tons upon tons of white stained glass. I'm sure we're going to use it at some point, but that will seem like a colossal waste if we can't find a use for it. Here goes. So this is going to be my first time looking at this thing fully completed with all of the white glass in place. And yet it looks pretty cool. And I mean, it doesn't look like an Incredibles logo anymore, but people were pointing out that in the previous episode when we only had three of the bands, it really did look like the Incredibles logo. And I totally agree with you on that one. But now it just looks like some monstrous, monstrous thing. So I guess what we have to start working on here is we need to start working on our octagons and we're gonna have to do some pretty serious maths because I mean, I can't even remember the formula for how we work out how to make each one of the sides equal. Ugh. Okay, so what I've done is, is I've used a carpenter's calculator to work out an octagon layout and according to this, and it's in feet and inches, okay, so, so I don't know how well this is going to translate to Minecraft, but apparently my sides, so the sides that aren't diagonal, need to be 53 blocks long. So we'll build 53 blocks and then 53 blocks on this side and then we'll see if the diagonal kind of looks like it's the same length. <laughs> okay, I'll be honest, this is looking promising, but I don't want to get my hopes up too high. So if we match up perfectly with this thing, then that means that we are onto a bit of a winner. The tension is rising. Okay. Okay, that's interesting. Right, let's see if this looks equal. That's where things are going to get really interesting. And... I mean, I think the reason that it looks a little bit strange is because it's thicker than the one wide area. But you know what? That actually looks like mathematically it will be about right. I think that looks roughly similar to what these will look like when they're fully extended. 
What I've decided to do is, is I'm just going to build up the entire octagon. So we're going to build the entire thing wrapping around. I've also removed all of the blocks, so now this is looking a little bit less chunky. But yeah, I'm going to build the entire octagon, and then we'll see how it looks, and then we'll kind of decide if this is actually a shape that we want to go for. I mean, this is, this is the first time I've built this. We didn't even build this in the testing world, so this is completely new to me. Nearly there. Just the final few blocks being removed. I'm going to drop down into the water and I'm going to pick up these because I know that all of you will complain down in the comment section that I'm not. But that... <laughs> That's what it looks like. Wow. That's an octagon. And that is like an accurate octagon. Those sides do look the same length. I can't say... I don't know if I've ever seen an octagon in Min Minecraft before. I know that sounds ridiculous. But I really don't remember ever seeing one. They look pretty cool. I've just realized something. You know my idea of having the upside down terraforming? You can't place grass upside down, so it will be all dirt. Uh, what on earth can I do there? Who is that? Who is that? <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know if he meant to do that. I guess I should probably put his potatoes and all of his other items into this chest. What an absolute buffoon. I'm taking his Elytra, by the way. Before anyone gets really angry at me, don't worry, I'm not actually going to steal these things. But I have to say, I have missed this. And this gives me an opportunity to actually do the good old fashioned fly up in the sky and see how it looks from above. Hmm. I don't know if I like the octagon. <laughs> I genuinely don't know if I like it. It looks a little bit too angular for me. That looks cool. No! <laughs> I can't believe it! Yeah, that looks so weird. It's way too sharp for how curvy the edges are. We might just have to go for a globe. We might have to go for a circle. Oh, <laughs> I can't believe that. I think for the first time ever, I actually got my measurements correct on the first try. And... That looks so much better. This has been a fairly painful episode. I've died again. I just keep falling off the edge of this thing. It is looking rad though. This is looking so cool. Okay, now that that one's done, we're going to add in the structural circle. So this one is going to be where our actual island is, floating up in the middle. And then these ones are going to act like braces around the bottom that make it look like this thing could actually hold itself together. And maths-wise, I mean, that's a 127 block circle. So we go 125, 123, 121, 119. 117, 115, 113, 111, 109, 107, 105, and then this would be 103. So a 103 block circle. Yeah, I think the maths works out. No, the maths didn't work. It looks like I was out by two blocks. So that means that I've got to increase my diameter by four blocks. So that takes us up to 107 blocks in radius. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I suppose we'll just generate the circle and we'll give it a go. I just hope that I don't waste too much concrete. But you know what? Now that I'm looking at it, I don't even think it looks that good. I genuinely don't think it looks that good. I think we're much better off with just a single circle going through the center. Yeah, I really, I don't like that. That's all been taken out, so now it's time to work on the inner circle that is going to be surrounding whatever we're putting in the middle here. I haven't really quite decided what's going up through the center, and this is going to lay out the foundations for our floating island that we're going to have in the middle here. What exactly is making this area so dark? There is absolutely nothing that I can see making this place as dark as it is, but it's, it, it's crazy, crazy dark. Light level zero. Literally getting a light level of zero. What the heck? <laughs> I wonder if I wonder if Green can see it. Does it look dark? It looks normal. All right, he can get off my platform. <laughs> so I've just been speaking to Iskal, and he actually has 
a handful of sea lanterns for sale. Now, obviously, we, we need sea lanterns for the inside of the glass because we need to light this thing up. And I didn't think we were going to be able to get one. I thought we were going to have to wait until we got the Guardian Farm, but apparently he's got them. So I'm going to head over here and I've brought 15 diamonds. I'm hoping that this will be enough. I didn't actually ask him. I thought they were dangerous. No, only if they've got cubs. Oh, oh and you got the head. You got the head. Did I? Yeah. You are shit. <laughs> <laughs> Nice! <laughs> I mean, there's a 25% chance of it happening. Shall I kill this one? There's, there seems to be lots of them yeah, around. Kill it. <laughs> oh, this one's actually angry at me. <laughs> oh, what I the heck? I'm got fish. <laughs> <laughs> look at me, I'm Teddy. <laughs> that is absolutely hilarious. You look brilliant. You look way cooler than me. I, well, I mean, you still have your mustache. That's true, yeah. Are we going to make a challenge this season so that we get to cut your mustache down? Yeah, or, or wear shorts or... Like, we need to do... So, for example, maybe I could... Because I wear a suit, like, maybe I have to be, like, bare-chested under my suit. Oh, I that would be amazing. That would be amazing. <laughs> or you have to take the T-shirt off underneath your jacket. <laughs> yeah. That would look gross. <laughs> it would be so awful. Gross. It would literally be the most horrible looking thing. <laughs> <laughs> or like I have to have short like a vest, a vest suit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then mostly arms. <laughs> mostly arms. <laughs> yeah, so I just beefed out. Oh man, that would be, yeah, we need to do that. Just yeah. have me have some like veiny arm, <laughs> bodybuilder <laughs> arm. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect. Oh my goodness. That would be amazing. That would be fantastic. All right, well, we'll have to... Well, I mean, yeah, we'll, we'll have to work something out in the very near future. Oh, as I a challenge for that. my tears. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> so I hear, I hear you need sea lanterns. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I do. I, I saw you were building a fantastic monstrosity. A fantastic what? A monstrosity? You've called it a yes. monstrosity? A, mon a fantastic monstrosity. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, I, I think that, is that a positive? I feel like that might that be- That is a very positive thing. Okay. Yeah. Monstrosity okay. as in grand monstrosity -ish build. I've just learned this word, you see, so I'm happy about it. <laughs> <laughs> I see. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's, I mean, I said to myself that I wouldn't go that big this season, and I've just ended up going, going big Mega as large. per usual. How does this yeah. work? What the heck? Yep, so me and Cupfan spent, uh, 23 hours in building this thing and it's a little bit different from a normal ocean temple this is amazing that's genius thank you we took away the like we carved out the ocean monument yeah all the monument that is left is also uh, cleared of water so there isn't actually that many spawning spots there are a few obviously but they usually swim into the geyser in the middle you may want to turn your particles off. <laughs> no, it's, uh, it's frame frame wise. I'm doing okay, amazingly. This seems super efficient. It is super quick. It would be quicker if we put a roof on it, but honestly, it's quite it's quite good. Fifty levels in two minutes. I saw you using that skeleton grinder in town, and I was like, wait a minute. Well, I see. I needed that. Yeah, I I also needed bones. That's the problem. So oh, okay. it was kind of like <laughs> I like the squid as well. You Sometimes you get squid. squid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's hilarious, man. It's so oh, you've, you've got an escapee over there, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, th it happens. It happens. <laughs> There's a squid. Can you see the squid there <laughs> under an orbit? <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're about to get zapped. That's like something out of an alien film. Yeah. <laughs> when oh, my squids word. fly. So yeah, all the I mean, uh, to be honest, I go into my statistics, right? Yeah. And to build this thing, I died 124 times. <laughs> How? Is well, it just guardians spawning while you're building it and... Yeah, so what we did was, we you'll have to see the episode, but we cleared the guardian farm of water and then we filled it with soul sand before putting the water down and that was a mistake. Right. Because, yeah. I'm guessing you shoot up to the top often and... Yes, exactly, exactly, and get sapped and stuff, so... It is what it is. <laughs> Oh no! I'm lagging! I may die. What? Okay, I'm good. Are you are you down at the bottom there? Yeah, I, I accidentally let them out before I killed them off. <laughs> ah, so there there's one coming up. <laughs> 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 oh, 
That's the, they're all coming up. Is this meant to happen? Is this how you kill them? <laughs> no, no, but this would be even more amazing than it is. No, so they fall down to get to be one one heart, and then you can switch it to be AFK or XP based. Right, I see. There's another one that's about to be shot. Up. We've got. We've, you have to hit them out the sky. It's like it's like a game. <laughs> That's a good idea, actually. <laughs> this is spectacular. This is amazing. So, sh should we go down to the killing area anyway? Well, I hang yeah, on. Have you got Have you got sea lanterns? I've got them on me. We could just do it here. Okay, we'll do a quick trade. Okay, so here are my fifteen diamonds. Bloop. Oh, you... <laughs> they've scooted off. <laughs> Hopefully, I... they don't just travel off into Thank yeah you. the void. I just got to verify them. Um, they high quality. These twenty six carat. Feels like they are made from slime. <laughs> Well, yeah, I mean, they basically have been made from slime. That's how I got them. <laughs> okay, fair enough. <laughs> fair enough. Uh, then one, two, three, four, five, and I'll give you an extra three. Oh, thank you ever so much. Right, I'll clear out. Oh, and now here comes the, here comes the eggs. <laughs> There's the arrow. Yep. Classic. <laughs> there we go. I don't even have a bow. I don't know why I carry arrows on me at all times. By the way, we we are probably destroying the server at this point in time because look at the pile up that we have. Yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty nasty. It's pretty nasty. Okay, small confession. That clip was actually recorded much earlier on during this episode recording session. But anyway, we do need to now light it up. So here we have all of our sea lanterns, and they are being spaced out two blocks between each one. So we're just going to gradually make our way up placing in all of these and that should hopefully stop this thing being quite as deadly like a tiny bit less deadly well that's a pain in the backside so this sea lantern is in the wrong place that sea lantern is where it should be and it's because i messed up here so there is three blocks one two three blocks between these two sea lanterns and i only want two blocks which means that i've got to take out all of these going up to the top and i don't have silk touch oh for goodness sake it's happened again Come on then, where have I messed up this time? I mean, it's just, uh, how am I messing up something that's so simple? It's just putting lamps two blocks apart. Is that three blocks? No, that's two blocks. Where have I gone wrong? Hey, there we go. It's been ages since I've seen one of those, but they were finally reintroduced back into the game in Minecraft 1.13. A spider jockey. Check that out. Skeleton riding a spider. They are super rare. Now that I've avoided all of the mobs that were down at the bottom of my base there, I'm just in the process of taking out all of the dirt that I've used as scaffolding. And we can take a look at this thing for the first time in its kind of finished form. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. <laughs> nice. Okay, okay, okay. What should we do next then? I mean, there's so many things that we need to do. There's, I mean, we are... This is an endless project, really. But I guess we probably should do some lighting up of this area. And considering we actually have sea lanterns, it might be worth doing some sea lanterns under leaf blocks. Yeah. That might not be a bad idea. Actually, you know what? Because I don't really know what I'm going to be doing with this area just yet, I think I might just go with regular torches for now and just light it up crazily. Like, place torches everywhere and hope for the best. So as far as I can tell, I've used up all of my torches and I've been walking around here for a little while now. I think the entire place should now be fully lit up. So we're staying pretty high in the light levels. I really have spammed the torches. So hopefully we should all be fine and we shouldn't have too many mob spawning because yeah this was a complete mob fest during the night but anyway next up we're actually going to be heading off into the shopping district because i think finally finally i'm actually going to get an eye trade pass every single time i come into the shopping district right i walk past mm -hmm. this place and i kind of look longingly through the window <laughs> like, I, <laughs> it's like if I could only get in. Yeah, yeah. Because, I mean, I the, the main one that I can obviously see, mending for 10 emeralds. And mm -hmm. You like how I did that so all the window shoppers could pass by and just drool? Yeah, I'm I'm so, so jealous. I just, because I, I don't have any villagers and I've tried my best to, well, I, I've, I've decided that this season I'm kind of going to stay off of AFK fishing too much. Um, oh, so good I'm, for you. Yeah, I'm not doing anything. I'm not doing anything like that, and that means that I've got literally no books. 
and this is just I'm like a kid in the candy store you just see me drooling up against the window <laughs> <laughs> perfect perfect my plan worked though. that's exactly why we have big windows on the front <laughs> yeah and the yeah. Manning Villager in the center of the room oh man <laughs> Well, excellent. Yeah, so I got a pretty good deal for you. Um, basically, I sell season passes. So for the entire Hermitcraft season six, yep. um, all you need is is this one little book right here. Yeah. And that will get you in the door so you can do all the trading for, you know, all season long. Right? Yeah. So <laughs> um, they're, um, they're a little pricey, though. <laughs> they're a little pricey. Uh, 32 diamonds is what it'll cost you. Get your hands. Yeah. Um, so if, if you want one, we can make a deal. We can okay. make a deal right now. Well, you know what? I mean, I actually... I'll be honest, I anticipated slightly more diamonds than that, so I actually brought along really? a full stack. So uh, Okay, well, I mean, there's there's more to it. I'll, I'll explain when we get inside. Okay. Uh, but getting inside is is uh, it's a little secret. Uh, cl- you know, we're in a secret club now. now yeah, yeah. Book, so now I'm going to give you the, the intel. Basically, see the dot of this eye right here? Yeah. Just throw the book in it. And then that opens up. And do I have to do it or, oh, I just got inside. I got inside on oh. your pass. <laughs> oh, that, man. Is that illegal? <laughs> kind, of, kind of piggyback there. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm not sure that's allowed, yeah. Oh, I didn't think of that. I wonder how many other hermits are going to share a season pass like that. <laughs> oh, man, yeah, we do a group buy. <laughs> All right, don't, don't give them any ideas. So, <laughs> so, so basically, you know, once you're inside, you're, you're free to bring whatever you want to trade with these guys. Right now, I have mainly just the librarians uh, to get these books, but I do have a couple yep. farmers. And I will be bringing in more. Like, there's room to do a second level of this thing, so I'm going to be getting you know all all the guys in here, basically butchers, right. clerics, you, you name it. Yeah. So, but if you come in here and you don't want to bring your own supplies, I do have some supplies for sale in the back here. Right. Yeah. So these are what I call micro transactions. <laughs> oh wow! I like it. I like it. <laughs> yeah. So if you want to purchase stuff, it's it's eight stacks for a diamond. You can grab whatever you want and trade with farmers and, and get your emeralds that way. Um, wow. I don't have any books in here just yet, but you can buy those from the villagers, right? You can just get a bookshelf or something and break it yep. if you need to, to do that. So, yeah, that's basically it. I'm going to be upgrading this place pretty much all season long and swapping in better villagers as I get them unlocked and that kind of thing. So it, your season pass is going to be worth it. Man, this place is awesome. I, I love the art. You are going to be rolling in diamonds <laughs> like i mean i'm sure i'm sure you already are if you're charging already, half a stack <laughs> yeah i'm already doing quite well I'll be honest i'll be honest <laughs> so i can't wait to see how many of these micro transactions i get too yeah, that's, i mean definitely i mean my I, I built a pumpkin farm in my base and i'll be honest it has not pro- i don't know what i've done I've, I've never faced this problem before but it has not produced a single pumpkin in oh. probably about 80 hours of waiting for it to produce wow. a pumpkin <laughs> Oh my goodness. So there's <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what's going my on. I'm assuming something is broken either. there. Um but yeah, so I I am yet to get any of these things. So unfortunately, oh I think I well, fortunately for you, uh, I think I might end up being a a pretty heavy purchaser of at least some of these microtransactions here. Yes. I have access. I've just tested my book. We were not freeloading off impulse this time. Okay, so mending this guy 10 emeralds. And of course, his trade is actually used up at this point in time. But we do need some books, so I suppose if we if we grab ourselves, so we want eight pumpkins, which will be one diamond. And in fact, you know we're going to buy the whole place. <laughs> okay, and then that will be that. And that will be that. And of course, the first thing that my villager does is lock up on me so that I can't trade any more pumpkins. So I guess we're going to have to get a bunch of melons as well. You know what? I'm not a fan. This guy's locked up on potatoes as well as melons and pumpkins, the whole lot. So now I'm gonna have to buy myself some carrots. I'm spending all my money already. Is this some kind of sick joke? All right, finally, we've got ourselves a decent number of emeralds. We've got over 100 emeralds there. So Impulse's deal is actually, it seems to be pretty good, especially with those microtransactions. And what we need to buy is we need to buy a handful of books. So maybe two bookshelves. I would say that's probably about right. And let's see, is this guy going to replenish his trades? No. You're still locked out on mending. Uh, I mean, if we buy, if we buy another bookshelf. Yes. Okay. That was a good deal. So then we put this in here, and we put this in here, and we get 
So that is five mending books in total, which is gonna do all of my tools and one piece of armor. Okay, we just need three more. Hey Impulse, just so you know, I paid for these carrots. I'm gonna come back and use them at some point in the near future. I also paid for those potatoes. I paid for all of these pumpkins. So as I say, I'm coming back for them. And uh, melons, okay, yeah, no, I've used up all my melons. Mending on my leggings, boom. And then mending on my boots, which we actually really need, boom. I am fully mending out. Oh, and I feel like I feel like a better person for it too. And it only cost me, I mean, 32 diamonds. Flat, it cost me, yeah, that's cost me a lot actually now that I think about it. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to end today's Hermitcraft episode. I really do hope that you enjoyed it. We got quite a bit done. We've spoken to a lot of people. We've made some progress. I've really enjoyed this one. So if you did, please just hit that like button. And if you really loved it, then make sure to subscribe. But thanks for watching, guys. This has been Mambo, and I'm out. I'll see you later.